Dear brothers in ministry, blessed Easter to you. What joy there is for us in meditating on the rich scriptures during this season. And for many of us during this pandemic, these promises of our Lord are even more comforting, encouraging, and motivating than ever. The angel's amazing words to those who trusted death more than Jesus. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. Jesus' words, as he appears in the barricaded room in which fear, unbelief, and despair was a thick gloom. Peace be with you. He shows them the marks of his saving work and says again, Peace be with you. And then the call service and ordination all wrapped in one. Receive the Holy Spirit. Forgive and retain sins in my name. It's real. It's certain. It's eternal. Jesus' deliverance of peace to you and his giving of the Holy Spirit in his word and his call is why you baptize, preach, and when you can, distribute the very body and blood of Jesus to fellow dying sinners. What an honor to get in on the invasion of life in the death's realm, to watch and hear as this life goes out from him to you, to many. St. Paul revels in Jesus' resurrection and the full meaning of it in 1 Corinthians 15, showing that it is a foolish idea that these bodies of ours won't rise, for if we don't rise, then Jesus didn't rise. And if he didn't rise, then our faith is pure folly, and we're to be pitied more than anyone. We're wasting our lives on a life that is lifeless. But now is Christ risen from the dead, the firstfruits of them that sleep, because he lives we shall live also. Paul ends then on this stunning uh, statement about Jesus' resurrection and ours. Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. A surprising set of words together. Be steadfast and immovable, yet also abounding in labor. Almost seems like a mixed metaphor. But Jesus' upending of sin and death has changed everything. It's the proof we cannot believe what we see, but must only remain in the victory and life of Jesus and his word, which never fail. And then let him send us with his life, forgiveness, and peace, that our families, our congregants, and all our neighbors, even our enemies, desperately need. Perhaps there are days for you, like for me, when it seems the work is in vain. But our Lord's promise here is true and reliable, as certain as his resurrection from the dead after paying our full debt. Your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Not now, not ever. Thanks be to God. The Father who raised our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead equip you with his Holy Spirit to be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing your labor in the Lord is not in vain.